Should you flip this house or should you rent it out? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where I work with you one-on-one, right? I help you guys start, build, grow, even sell your real estate portfolios, okay? Today, I'm working with a real estate investor client of mine. Her name is Lisa. She is an investor all the way out there in New Hampshire. Now, Lisa, me and you, we're going to be doing a lot of work together. We're probably going to be looking at 30, 40 properties together. Recently, I just did a batch of five for you, right? You were looking to flip some properties. Uh, so I targeted some investments in Parma, okay? What I wanted to do there, because Parma is like the first suburb in the Cleveland area where the prices are really driven by owner occupants, but they're still, you know, cheap enough where you get some accidental landlords in there. So we were targeting properties where the landlords uh, that were accidental don't really understand the business. They had tenants in there and they were trying to sell them for the prices that owner occupied buyers would pay, but owner occupied buyers don't want those properties because there's tenants in there and landlords like yourself don't want them either because the price to rent ratio is all out of whack wouldn't make any sense right because there's properties like this one where the price to rent ratio is way different right you get the same rent but the prices are cut in half okay which kind of leads me to this video too because you said hey james uh, we put in offers on those, right? And as of right now, none have got accepted. That's part of the game when you're flipping houses, right? You got to sometimes put in some pretty low offers. You said, James, I'm interested in Maple Heights, right? I want to look at Maple Heights. What opportunities do we have in Maple Heights? Can we maybe do a couple flip, maybe flip them to investors, right? So this is one of the cheaper deals I found in Maple Heights, one of the better deals. And I want to talk to you about what you can and can't do on this one, right? 19811 Garden View. It's been on the market for six days. And it's listed at $59,900, right? And what we have in here, Lisa, is a current tenant, and they are paying eight fifty a month. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, there's really no scenario, no meat on the bone where you could purchase this and then flip it to an investor, right? There's not going to be a way for you to pick it up, in my mind, cheap enough to do that and then be able to add enough value to get an ARV to then also be afforded uh, to pay commissions, closing costs, and make yourself a profit. It's just not going to happen, right? The ARV in a place like Maple Heights is always going to be pretty low, right? Because they have a pretty high tax rate. You're still going to be able to get high rents with this, though, right? This is a sneaky little valuable deal for you, though, because you don't really need to add much value either. The, the house itself is not really distressed. It's just the price point is really just not going to go much higher, right? Like, we're going to see these rentals in Maple Heights top out at the maximum at like 70, 75K just because of the way the numbers work out with the high tax rate. So what I think you should do on a property like this. Hey lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. You probably just try to pick it up because there's a little meat on the bone because you could just slowly increase that tenant's rent. And you get yourself a hell of a deal. So what we could do is take advantage of the fact that the rent is below market. Maybe pick it up at 55, right? Going forward in the long term, you know that this, even though there's a tenant paying 850 right now, the actual rent should really be about 1000 right? So going forward, if you got a $1,000 tenant in there, you're spending approximately 68 16 of the $12,000 in rent that comes in on expenses, leaving you with an NOI of fifty one eighty four. If you only paid 55000 for it, it makes it a 9-4 cap. And if you're financing it, you only got to put in 13 G's, right? 13750 The bank will give you the rest, right? Because you can pick it up so damn cheap that it puts you at a 22.5% cash on cash return. So in my opinion, what you really want to do is try to rent this house, right? I don't see any opportunity right now available for you in Maple Heights where you could, uh, you know, again, go in, get a property for cheap enough to do the renovation, 
and then sell it and make enough profit for it to be worth your time when you're paying all those commissions and closing costs. It's just not going to happen, but that doesn't mean there are not opportunities in Maple Heights such as this one. In addition to this one, I have another deal which is very similar to this one, but the home is going to have slightly different numbers because we have two bedrooms instead of three. So we're going to jump into that video right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.